Hey team, uh, this video is on a serious note. I know you're all used to Team Kenyans being fun and just enjoying ourselves when it comes to fishing and, and it should be that way with your mates. But on a serious note, rock fishing is not a safe sport, right? It's a very dangerous sport. Many lives have been taken and taking those safety precautions is very important. And the reason why I'm saying this is because I, I just uh, went through a... Uh, a scary experience last couple of days where I got swept by uh, by a freak wave. You hear about these stories all the time, and even within Team King is where you know, some of the guys have sprained ankles. Um, we know someone that hit his head on the rock uh, because he slipped, you know, scratches, broken wrists, and things like that. So definitely not a safe sport. So for the kids that are watching these videos, please take note, okay? I think it's best that you wait till you turn 18. What happened to me over the last couple of days, over the weekend, was I uh, went to a Sydney rock ledge with Roly and Rison, and uh, conditions were good, right? 1.1 meter swell, uh, 11 seconds intervals, uh, low wind, but there's always that freak wave that we underestimate, and, and at this time I got caught, right? So I think the one mistake I did was I did try to run away. I tried to I turned around and I remembered. Hey, hold on! I've got to I've got to brace myself and turn around uh, and face the wave. Turn around as I turned around to face the wave. It was too late. I got swept under by the uh, by the wave. The force of the wave pushed me across the rocks. I fell into a rock pool. Thank thank God. I thought I was in the water, but when I turned around, I, I realized I was in the rock pool. I I still held on to my rod and reel. Obviously, <laughs> I don't know. How I did that. I had my face mask on, I had to pull that down. I was ready to pull my life jacket, but then I realized I was in a rock pool, so that was fine. The one thing I was worried about at that time was whether or not there was gonna be a second wave that uh, that was gonna take me under again. Um, Roly was there, he, uh, he did the right thing. He didn't just jump in there and try to pull me out because he could have got caught by the wave also. So he just waited till it calmed down, right? So again, I just wanted to reiterate and I just want to, uh, you know, um, send out this message to everyone and all the viewers that this is not a safe sport. It is dangerous. You need to take precautions. You should always have your cleats and your life jacket. Always go there with a mate and, uh, you know, and, and, and watch for each other. So hopefully you can learn something from this video. Again, it's not as uh, fun as our usual videos, but hopefully it will help people out there. We're on location with uh, Lock Drag Rolly and Mr. Fillet. Now, last night when we were checking the conditions, it was a 1.1 meter swell. It doesn't look like it, but I think it is. But it's also in the same direction with the wind. So it's a bit rough, but it should be alright. So today we're going to try uh, live prawns again. Who knows? Might get a grow or something. So for today, I've got a different setup. So on a floaty, with a sinker under the floaty, I've got a swivel, another leader, and a size uh, Rio hook. Right, so what we're going to do here is uh, get one of these liveys. But these things are massive, man. These are beasts. The size of this thing. <laughs> All right, so just straight through as I showed. Actually, I'm, I'm doing it this way now. This is Anwar's method. Seems like it's a better hook up that way. And they stay alive a bit longer. I'm on. What is it? Oh, oh point! Yeah! yeah. Well done. Are you coming? That's a big sweep! That's a big sweep, bro! Oos! Oos! Big, big! Bamber! 
Come on, stand back. Good. Okay, I'm just watching the conditions here. And I can see things are starting to get a bit, a bit dangerous, especially this wave here. And then you can see that, that wave right behind it is just rolling in. Oh, yes. Now I've just noticed it. The worst thing I could have done was turn okay, around. Big. So you can see the wave was actually, actually hitting me at that point was the highest point of the wave. Now Raleigh's running towards me, he's not going to jump in there. There you go, I get hit by the wave and get pushed across the rocks, get scratches. I'm in the rock pool now, I wasn't sure if it was a rock pool. I've got my face mask on so you can hear me I'm trying to breathe. But I've got my rod and I'm trying to hold the life jacket, not knowing if I should pull the life jacket. But then I've realized it's only a pool, so I'll just wait for the wave. I've got a bit of traction on the rocks there, so I don't get pushed further, but I'm not sure if there was going to be another wave. Alright, I'll take my, job, my face mask off now, and Rolly realizes that it's safe, he comes no, in and helps me out. Is this a pool? Is this a... Oh, oh, hurry up. Ooh, that was a big one, bro. Bro, is that a pool or is that a... Yeah, pool. Oh, I knew it was going to come, bro. Alright, oh, there goes my reel. I was filming that too. Just got smashed. Went into the pool, man. That pool is deep. Ah. Yeah, obviously we got smashed just then. That was a freak wave, man. That was crazy. Maybe I should have stood my ground. I don't know. But anyway, some uh, some battle scars. This reel is not sealed. So what I'm doing now is just tighten the drag. Just quickly rinsing it off with uh, my drinking water. Give it a bit of a chance. But I think it's uh it's gone because it's not sealed. Now just release the drag. Let's see, how you, see how we go with it. It's probably got the uh, it's probably la it's on its last leg. Yeah, so uh, my clothes are all wet, so <laughs> I have to take them off. It's crazy, man. The swell's getting crazier and crazier. A couple of really big uh, waves, so. I think we're gonna call it a, a day over here and then we're gonna move to another spot. But this is what we got. Pike, Sambo, and a big sweep. <laughs> All right, we're gonna try our luck somewhere else.